AI agents are taking over, but they're not a hive mind yet. That's why Google and all these small companies have got together and worked on the A2A protocol, an open protocol built on top of standards like HTTP, SSE, and JSON RPC. If you've just caught up on MCP, don't worry, this isn't a competing protocol, it's a complementing one. Agentic applications will need both. Here's a simplified use case. Imagine a company has hired someone new, and HR has to tell the IT department to create an account, tell the finance department to set up payroll, and tell the facilities department to arrange a desk. Each department currently has their own AI agent to do this, but the agents don't talk to each other, so HR wastes time sending emails back and forth. With A2A, all these agents speak the same language. HR just tells their main onboarding agent about the new hire, and this agent uses A2A to automatically tell the IT agent to create the accounts, the finance agent to set up pay, and the facilities agent to sort out the desk. Those individual agents might then use MCP servers to complete their tasks. Everything works smoothly with A2A. To be able to do this, the A2A protocol allows for a few key things. First, the client, like our onboarding agent, creates and communicates a task, and the remote agent completes it like a manager delegating tasks to employees. Each agent has an agent card. This is just like a LinkedIn profile for an agent in JSON format that describes what each agent is good at, its API endpoints and authentication needs, so the client can pick the one that will do the task best. Side note, the protocol is secure by default, supporting enterprise-grade authentication and authorization like OAuth or OIDC. Once it's picked the agent, A2A has built-in task management capabilities. A task has a life cycle, it can be a media or long-running task, and each agent can sync on the completion status of the task, like your daily stand-up meeting. The output of a task is known as an artifact, with each message containing parts which are fully formed pieces of content, like a generated image, iframes, video, web forms, and much, much more. The agents will even be able to negotiate the user's UI capabilities to know if they can view this format. The final thing to know is the protocol is modality agnostic. It can do text, but also streaming audio and video. Your AI meeting assistant could actually stream the meeting to the summarizer agent. So there you have it, A to A, Google's bid to make the impending robot uprising a collaborative one. Now go and make your agents talk to each other, comment down below what you think, and as always, see you in the next one.